Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Cafe Talk. We have a special episode here for you. Um, I'm joined together by the hip and by the brain by this beautiful Adonis named Jolin. Say hi, Jolin. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a special uh, episode for you guys. We're going to be yeah. raiding uh, some doggos. <laughs> Everybody. So for some of you who are, you know, uh, longtime subscribers to the channel, first of all, thank you. Uh, and second of all, you might have remembered that we've done a podcast similar to this where we reviewed uh, different coffees. Yeah, we were uh, coffee shops or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously, like, you know, we, we mentioned some of the big ones like the McCafe line, um, the Tierra Mia, Starbucks, things like that. Yeah. This time, we're going to be talking about doggos. Because everyone's encountered dogs, know about dogs, and even if you don't have one, you've seen them most likely on media somewhere. Mm -hmm. Dogs are everywhere. Dogs are man best friend. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you know, let us know if you agree with our list. Uh, yeah. If, you, if, you're, if your personal doggo is where you think it should be. Yeah, and uh, comment down below with your list if you want to do that. Like we we'd be we'd be glad to hear what your list is. How would you rate a different dog? Yeah, I will say off the back, like looking at the dogs that we have, I don't really think we're gonna have any Fs. Oh, really? Or I or I don't know. These are all they're all good dogs. <laughs> I all mean, dogs are good dogs. Exactly, all dogs are good boys and good girls. <laughs> I'll try to throw in some like, I'll throw in some oddballs that you didn't get to see, Victor. Ooh, okay, that's spicy. But, but starting off, oh, we're okay. gonna Th throw it right at me. We're gonna we're gonna start off with with, with probably the, one of the most iconic dogs, the <gasps> German Shepherd. The German Shepherd. Ooh, that's a big boy, isn't he? All right, where would you put this dog? A German Shepherd, I, I put him in the A category. Yeah, you think he's an A? Yeah, I, I would say A or S, mainly because you know he they're they're very like well trained dogs, and that's why like cops use them. But at the same time, like if they're not well trained, they could be very aggressive. And they're like huge dogs, like well, not like like. Big. Wait, should we have like a criteria? Because I think we had that in the last podcast too. Oh, we did. Yeah. Okay, then uh we should have a criteria on like uh what should be some. I want like I want to say one should be popularity. Okay, that's good. Um the size? other size. size. Uh-huh. Uh easiness to 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 train. Oh, okay, that's good. You know, okay. I like how, how 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 trainable is this dog? And yeah. maybe, uh, you know, throw in a little bit of a, a personal bias. All right. So that's four, five categories. Uh, I have four, four categories. All right. So yeah. size, trainability, uh, personal bias. And what was the last one? And popularity and popularity. All right. Yeah. That's good. All right. Okay. So size, I would say this is like a medium big dog. Like they could, they can be big, but like. They're 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 more in a medium range, right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A popularity. Right. Everyone knows about this dog. Well, I mean, this is a pretty pretty vanilla dog. I'm gonna say that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you, and I'm gonna put him in the A category. All right. Okay. Just because you know, and uh, movie star dog. Yeah, trainability easy. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one. We're gonna go with. The Sheba. Oh, <gasps> the Sheba. The Sheba Inu. All right, Joel. Now, since I, I started out rating what I would give the German Shepherd, what would you give the Sheba? Uh, so they're somewhat popular. They're not the easiest to train. They're not? No, they're very stubborn. But I've seen them so, like, so many that are actually really well trained. I know, but it takes a special hand to train Shebas because they're very, like, cat like. Ah, uh, so they're you have to be experienced um, in training dogs. Size are pretty medium, and then well, personal bias. I I kind of like them, but I want to. I would put them in the B 
category. B? Yeah. I, yeah, I, I would say A or B, mainly just because um, <clears throat> I've seen, like, it's very popular dog. Like, come on, it blew up recently in, like, media. Oh, because the memes? Yeah, the memes. The lols. And- yeah, and they're cute as hell. Like, like they do the little dance, the little flip tippity tap dance. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm I'm putting well, maybe maybe we'll change, but right now I'm putting Shiva's at a B because I do think they're like overhyped. Oh, okay. Uh, the 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 trainability caught me off guard. I actually yeah, trainability like they're not the most they're not the easiest to train. Yeah, if they were if they were easier, I would definitely say A. But yeah, I I'd go with a B. All right, Victor. I, I think this one's a personal favorite of yours. Oh, <gasps> oh my God! Yes, that's that is straight up S rank for me. Oh my God, I love it. Yeah, I think you're leading too heavily oh, into the yeah. personal bias. No, no. Are they easy to train? Actually, I don't know much about trainability of dogs. I thought I thought pugs were kind of dumb. To be honest, I've never had a pug, so so it's like it's not that they're hard to train because they're stubborn. They're just kind of dumb. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, uh, okay. I'll I'll add one more thing. We uh-huh. we we both have one S vote. One S. Yeah, but like we can so we can agree dogs. that we can agree that the dog is an S tier dog. Uh huh. But like you can over like say for this pug, if I want to put him in C, and you're uh-huh. like, nope, this pug is an S. Uh huh. You can override my C. Oh, with that one vote. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. And then okay. from then on, you have to persuade me that this dog is an S dog. Okay, no, I don't want to waste. Well, it's not a waste, but I feel like there's other dogs that might deserve an S. Um, the lowest I would go is a B on a pug because they're just so cute. I wouldn't go as low as a C. <clears throat> I will. I'll, I'll put the pug in A. A. Just All because right. of. Edgar and Maya, PewDiePie's dogs. Yeah, it, come on. How can you not look at a pug and start laughing because their face looked like you got smushed? I know, but that's the reason why I feel so bad for them. Well, okay, if you're taking, like, health issues in, con- in consideration, yeah, that's that's a really drastic... All right, staying with the smush face. <gasps> Another the one? English Bulldog. Ah, uh, th- those are cute. Um, I mean, what dog isn't, right? <laughs> All right. Um... Hmm. You, you you tell me, Jolin. What do you think? Uh, I also hear that they're not the most trainable dogs. Uh huh. They're also not the most popular. Yeah, that's true. Like people like them, but for people who actually own English bulldogs, I don't see many. Like they're not. Yeah, they're not popular in social media itself. Like, also, I feel like because they have such like uh, breathing problems and they overheat. You mm-hmm. don't really see people walking them as much. Like they're oh, not yeah. a very social dog compared to the Shiba. They're very indoor dog. Yeah, I would put them in C. C. Yeah, that actually I agree with you. Straight on. No, no, no argument there. I would put them in C because yeah. C. Look, that's <laughs> a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just they're like every time I I I hear a, a that was a bulldog, right? Yeah, English bulldog. English bulldog. Every time I imagine an English bulldog, all I could think of, like, or at least the first image comes to mind, is their drool. Like, they just can't help but drool. Oh some of yeah. Them. So that's like, it's not the best dog for me. All right. This one's a personal favorite of mine. The poodle. Oh, the poodle. I've never had much experience with a poodle, actually. Now this is a standard size poodle. They do come in three. There's a toy, a miniature, and a standard. And how big does a standard get? Standard is probably around the same size as a German Shepherd. Oh, okay. Not bad. Pretty good. Are, are they smart? Like, are they easy to train? They're one of the most intelligent dogs in the world. <gasps> no way. Yeah. And they're very fashionable. I know. That's of- why I believe poodles are S rank. Ooh. And uh, it's also... I'm also playing into my personal bias since I've owned... A, a poodle, poodle, and I know how devoted they are to your family, but I also know how much of an asshole they can be if you're, they're not properly trained. Ooh, okay. I was I was thinking A, <clears throat> but but at the same time, I cannot think of any cons that would bring it down lower than an S. So I'll, I'll go with an S for you. All right. Okay, poodle S. Poodle I, 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 S rank. 
I would definitely want to own a poodle one day. I still want to own a poodle. But like I see, I've never had an experience with like a purebred poodle. Probably like yours. I'm not sure if yours was purebred. Was uh, I had one, and she was kind of an asshole. <laughs> and then I had, and then the other dog that I had, she was half poodle, half like uh, Maltese or something. I don't remember. See, yeah, that I've had nothing but Maltese poo experience in my life. True, All nonstop. Right. So, but but they're still great. We're staying with that. Now the Maltese. The Maltese. Look at them. So cute. So so do you know much about the Maltese? Because like, like again, I mean I, said, I own a Maltese poo. Exactly, but that's yeah. that's that's my only experience with Maltese um, and poodles. Like they're a mix. The yeah, Malteses are kind of like a big dog in a small body. Really? Like they're very brave, to be honest. Ooh. I know and, they're energetic as hell. Yeah, they're energetic and they're good with kids, good with families. They're also very cute. Yeah, are they easy to train though? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. And I, probably not as easy to train as like a poodle or maybe a German shepherd. Maybe like around the same. Mhm. Depending on like the dog's personality. Yeah. But I I would put Maltese's at at a B. Yeah, that's exactly that's what I was my say. preference. I don't know about you. No, that's that was I was gonna agree with that a B. Because I, I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't prefer a Maltese over a pug or a German Shepherd, but at the same time, I would definitely get one. Alright. C's now, uh, C's are when I'm like, eh, maybe I won't get it like last minute. Like no other all right, now. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What's X? Uh, What's X? Bring it on. This is another dog that I've owned. The Damn, Chow you Chow. Own. You've owned a Chow Chow? Yeah, I had a Chow Chow when I was a kid. I named him Lion King. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Was it was it red like this? Uh it was darker. It was brown. Cause, so the only experience I've had with a Chow Chow was my grandma. Maybe I should keep the picture open like that. So you can yeah. see it. And and my grandma had two chow chows, and one of them was like br- like red, like exactly the same color that you see in the picture, and the other one was blonde. Um, and both of them were incredibly nice, incredibly fluffy. But I remember, no matter what time of year it was, you were you would leave like a big old ball of fur after they like touched. Yeah, you. they're pretty high maintenance dogs, and they're also yeah. similar to like the Shiba. They're pretty like cat like, you know they. If they think they're smarter than their owners and they won't listen to them. Oh, okay. And I they see. also tend to be kind of aggressive because they were bred to like hunt pigs and stuff. Yeah, I was actually going to mention that too. <laughs> I was like, I heard they were pretty aggressive dogs. Um, so where would you put this dog, Victor? I would Look put him. I would put him like at a C, actually. Look at him and tell him you're not a <laughs> B dog. <laughs> I would not own you if I, if I had the option. Yeah, I would put it. I would put them at a C as well. Yeah, this seems like a good, comfortable place for them. And right. and and they get pretty big, right? Yeah, they're pretty big dogs. Yeah, I'm I mean sure maybe that's... like smaller than a smaller than a German Shepherd, but definitely heavier. Yeah, exactly. They're pretty stocky boys. Maybe maybe if we lived in a colder region, I would definitely put it higher up. Maybe like a B or an A, but. Because we're in the California region, it's just gonna be super high maintenance. I'm like, nah, I'm good. All right, what's a, what's another dog Ooh, that we should put up there? I'm I'm waiting to see which one's the 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 curveball you're gonna throw at me. All right, well let's just shuttle down, Victor. Shuttle down. <laughs> I'm at the edge of my seat with that tissue. All right, we'll throw we'll throw in this bad boy, and he's a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> He is a badass. Uh, he's a B A M F right there. Mm-hmm. He's a bamf dude right there. All right, Victor. What, what would you what would you rate this dog? Where would he sit on his tier list? Uh, oh, this is a Siberian Husky. Siberian Husky. So, so that way people aren't confused. I uh, okay. So popularity. I've seen a lot of people talk about these dogs. Mm-hmm. So so they're really well known. Um, personal preference, I've never had much experience with them, much interaction, but I do like them a lot. 
because they look very intimidating, but they're super kind, or at least the ones I met. Uh, mm-hmm. Intelligence, I'm not sure about that. Can you tell me anything about that, Jolin? Um, they're like, like average. Yeah, what about... You know, they're, um, they're like a, a pack breed. Ah. They're more, fo- they're more focused about the pack than they are about their individual selves. Oh, so maybe in a family, they would be more focused on like protecting the family? Maybe. I don't know. I, I haven't... From the people that I know that own Huskies, there's, yeah. there's not much that they like praise about the Husky, aside from just like, I like how he looks, or he's a sweet dog. Oh, I see. There's he, he's he's kind of like a vanilla dog. Yeah, I I'd still put him in the A column. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I was gonna put him at the D column. Really? Because I like when you don't train a husky, they are they will cause havoc. Like why? Because like they're super energetic and they, can't they will control destroy them or everything. Like... They will, and then plus they also like cry and yell and like that video where one of them sounds like a dark souls boss oh yeah that was, that was funny for me <laughs> they're like incredibly vocal dogs and that could be really <laughs> annoying to some people uh-huh um okay I'm, I'm, okay you're at an a i'm at a d we can meet in the middle we'll put them in b no we could put them at a c all right because i i would personally want to own a shiba or a maltese before i get a a husky yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. That's why I was like, "She's right. fine." All right, husky, you stay in there. Because I also like <clears throat> personal preference is pretty high for me on huskies. Like, I don't mind the the loudness or the the vocalness of the dog. I just, you know, it's it's one of those dogs that's like super comfortable to be around with, and they're fluffy and cute. Yeah. Okay. Um, these little assholes. <laughs> And I put two because there there is a short hair and a long hair version. Uh huh. I personally like the long hairs more, but it does not make a difference. They're still little devils. That's that's funny. I prefer the short hair versions of the Chihuahuas. Really? Yeah, just because like everyone in my family has at least owned one Chihuahua, and it's always been a short hair. And the first time I encountered a long hair, I was like, God, how do you? how do you breathe in that thing like it was it, well it was very unkempt like the owner didn't really you know groom it well oh but, i see yeah i was like i would not want to have a long hair chihuahua all right what would you oh I, i'm i'm gonna say where i would put it yeah. i would put this in d you'd put it in d yeah Hmm. see now that's where we disagree really yeah because again i don't mind the annoyingness that some people find in chihuahuas like I know, I know that's like the main idea that comes to mind when people think about a Chihuahua, how annoying they are. But I love how fucking small they are. I it's the perfect indoor dog. Fucking, you could just carry it around with you. You could toss it like a football to your parent, whatever. Like whoever wants to catch it, and it's it's always fun, and it's just running around, and it's like causing shenanigans. And if you take the time to train it, my personal experience is that. They learn pretty quick, and right. so what? What would you? What would you rate? Where? Where does this Chihuahua sit? I would put him in like the B category. You want to meet in the middle and put him in C? Yeah. Or, or do you feel so keen that you're like he should be in B? I'm. I'm willing to compromise. Put it in the C just because. I definitely would love to own a Shiba or a Maltese before I own a Chihuahua. Because I've this. Because I've already owned a Chihuahua like before. Yeah, or yeah, if you could split them up, that would be awesome. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like shit, uh, if you want to split them up, like you could put the, the short hair on C and then put the long hair on D. And that would be perfect. Paste. Yeah, we'll put this one here. Yeah, and then we'll put this one here. Yeah, that's perfect right there. See, look at that. Except now <laughs> I gotta. You gotta cover it. You gotta. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's good compromise. <laughs> that's perfect. He's like, right. oh, bad partner. Uh, all right, we're gonna do a lightning round just to get <gasps> rid of some breeds. Okay. 
such right, as Jack Russell. Like, Jack Russell. Ooh, are they loyal though? I that that's all like they're that like comes incredibly to mind. energetic. Incredibly energetic. Yeah, I've seen some that are pretty loyal. Because that's what comes to mind whenever I think of a Jack Russell. Um, C. C? C. All right. Um, come on. I got it. Oh, oh, technical difficulty. Strike again. Nah, nah. Okay. <laughs> schnauzers. I've never encountered a schnauzer. I never had a schnauzer either, but Martin has. My my it, friend Martin, yeah, and uh, I'm gonna put him in C as well. Really? Yeah. See, I had a dog that everyone kept saying was a terrier, but it looked exactly like how that Schnauzer looks right now. I mean, Schnauzers is- are terriers. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, then I guess maybe I did have a Schnauzer before. All right. Uh, speaking of, actually, never mind. Not speaking of. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Speaking of Yorkies. Uh, Oh, uh, fucking uh, God, A. I personally think Yorkies are A. Yeah, I'll I'll agree with you there. Yeah, Yorkies they're so are pretty cute. damn cute. I love I love Yorkies. And they're very trainable. I mean there's there's a movie where someone owns a Yorkie. Are, are also like for like dog shows, aren't there like like Yorkies oh, yeah. in there? Yeah. Alright. Akita. I've never never encountered an Akita and I've always thought Akitas were Shibas. So I Akitas don't know. are basically like big Shibas. Yeah. Yeah. So we should put them in B. Yeah, I agree. A uh, with the Shiba. A long shot. All right. Um. Now, Victor, this is uh, this is where things get a little controversial. Ooh, that's what I like, baby. All right. The American Staffordshire Terrier. What the hell is that? It's like these dogs are commonly uh, placed in with pit bulls. Uh huh. But they're like a separate breed on their own. Uh, that's that's hard because if if it if there was a pit bull, I would personally put a pit bull like in the A column because I've had pit bulls before and I love them. Um, but I don't know about this one. I've never had experience. What what do you say, Jones? Generally, I think. I could be wrong, but I think Staffordshire Terriers are smaller than Pit Bulls. Uh huh. Just like from the Pit Bull Terrier, just what, from what people say. Uh huh. Like, I don't know exactly either. I just know that they are good dogs. And it's like this dog, the Staffordshire, yeah. that got that nickname, the Nanny Dog. Oh, really? So yeah. they, they care for their owners. Yeah, they're incredibly loyal. Um, oh, then wh- where would you put it, Jolin? I would put it in A. Okay. Yeah, let's go it's with an that. It's A, dog. Yeah, like it's an A plus. He's a good boy. Now. Yes. The American Pitbull Terrier. Uh, what's the difference? <laughs> this one's a little bit bigger. Yeah, but like... Like, I could see the Pitbull in him, but like... I I don't... Like, I really have no experience with this either. It's like a whole breed on its own. I mean, they're very similar, kind of how, like, terriers are very similar. I mean, technically, this is a terrier. Uh-huh. But um, it was, it's bigger, so it was bred to hunt, like, different stuff or to do different things. Hmm. Then, in that case, I, I would put them in the B. I think more people own, like, the American Pitbull Terrier than they do the Staffordshires. Uh-huh. So... I don't know. What would you say? I would put this in S. S? Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm going to use my S for Uh this dog. Wow. You passionate about it? I am. I feel like they get such bad raps. But, like, I've never heard any negativity towards those type of dogs. There's, like, there's laws against these dogs. What? Why? That if, like, that if, like, any incident happens, that dog is immediately, like, euthanized. Wow. Especially in the UK because of the history that they have with pit bulls and pit fighting and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Okay, that in I order know. to own like a pit bull in the UK or something, like you have to have paperwork. You have to like keep this dog on a muzzle whenever it's in public. You have to like get annual routine checkups to make sure your dog like passes temperamental tests. 
Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and it's just a dog. It's a good boy, good girl. Look at that. Yeah, it's just like it only behaves the way you train it. Like, come on. Dogs are reflective of your of their owners. You're a exactly. shitty owner. You have a shitty dog. Exactly. That's I, why I use my S on this dog. All right. I I, I won't fight good it. Boy. That's good. That's a good that's a good reason. Another good boy that most people might have thought that I would use my S on is the Australian cattle dog. Oh yeah, big time. I would have thought you would have just rammed it up in S right there. <laughs> I know. I'm, I have a huge bias. I own one, but it's red, yeah. not blue. Yep. And he's a good boy. I love Ollie. He's a good boy. He's, so, he's awesome. He's so smart too. Yeah. Um. These, these cattle dogs, they're like top ten smartest breeds. Okay. Where Where would you put it? I would put it in the B category. Really? That's kind of surprising. Because, just because they're a one person dog. What does that mean? Like they attach themselves to one person so greatly. That like the rest of the family can like fuck off. Oh shit! So they, they would only listen to the that one person. Yeah. Oh, so so training them as a family might arise some problems. Yeah, like they're not good with kids. Oh, all right. I was gonna say A, but I was like that. That sounds good. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, they're not good with kids. They're like a one person dog. They shed like crazy. <laughs> Yeah, they got temperamental issues, but that's what makes them so cute and good. And, mm. <laughs> oh yeah, and then, after this, and then you told me about how like um, they would they're nip at little too. kids, yeah, like, because they think they're like trying to hurt the little kids too, like hurt them into a crowd, corral or something like that. Yeah, the Australian cattle dog is also known as like the blue healer, the red healer, the Queensland healer. Mm-hmm. Um, they, when they herd cows, they bite at their legs. Yeah, at the heels of the cow. All right, so that, honestly, a B sounds perfect for it then. Yeah, I'm putting you in a B. <laughs> uh, what else? What haven't I? There's some other dog breeds here, but I like. I want to kind of get to the uh, the goofy ones. Oh, okay. I want to see them too. Is there any personal dog that you feel like should be on this list, Victor? Because I got a any, good number of dogs. Any? Oh, well, personal dog so far, like, um, out. The, the the top tier dogs in my list of like what I would get first would be like the pug, so it's already on there. Um the the little uh what's the what's that dog right to the right of the pug? Right next to it? On the list? Uh the Yorkie? Yeah, that's so that's another one I would it's already on there. Alright, I got some more that should be on this list. Mm, okay, go ahead. Before her. we get to the goofy ones. <gasps> a golden retriever. retriever. Oh, that is that's like America right there. That is that's the embodiment of of the American dream. Um, a. I I give him an A. Yeah, I was gonna argue against because I thought you were gonna put him in S. Uh huh. But I was like, mm, I don't think Goldens are S. Nah, because they, they do have like a problem with biting. Yeah. And some of them are kind of dumb. What? Are, <laughs> just, are you gonna? Are you gonna leave oh, them? Oh, sorry. Us? My bad. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought we were talking about A. All right, A. Yeah. And then what's another? It's another dog. Uh, the Saint Bernard. Oh, that is. Oh man, I have that dog close to my heart. Not because I've ever encountered one, but because of my childhood growing up with like tv and watching them um from fucking god what's that movie it was like a disney channel movie with a saint bernard oh, beethoven? In it. beethoven i remember watching that and loving the dog and then um fucking uh the looney tunes they had a saint bernard cartoon dog that would like go and save bugs bunny whenever he would freeze in an iceberg by giving him like alcohol or something from his little neck barrel oh that's right yeah so i i have Talk a I have a fondness of them just from my childhood, but I don't know how they are in real life, though. Oh, I see. I, I heard that they're like gentle giants. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have seen videos where people like they have a St. Bernard and it just go like they're just chilling on the sofa and it just goes up to them and like wants to cuddle all the time. And I'm like, ah, that's perfect. Uh, so maybe you should say it. I put them in the B category. 
B. Yeah. For Beethoven. <laughs> I wasn't going with that, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right. I feel like maybe this is another personal favorite for you. Uh huh. Uh, where is it? Ooh, I'm, I'm on pins and needles over here, boy. The I'm kind of surprised. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> he's just, it's the wiener dog. Oh my god. Um, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't know, man. That's hard because I love seeing them. But I don't know if I would ever want to own one, though. Really? Yeah. And and every, every time I've encountered one in, like, real life, they've always had, like, cancerous growths on their stomach. Yeah, that's a problem with the breed. Really? Yeah. Damn, that's, that's very strange. I don't know why. Um, oh, and I remember one time, just a quick story, like, one of my... One of the neighbors of my friend... The dog had cancerous growth on like its under, not like on its belly or on its testicles or something, and it would be dragging that growth like every time it would walk, oh, okay. to the point where like it would it kind of like ripped its skin on it, so it would constantly be uh, on a scab. And I was like, that poor it dog, just... man. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe like a C or D. I wouldn't ever really want to own it, but I think they're adorable. Um. I would put it in D. I think temperament is an issue in the breed as well. Oh, really? And I don't think they're the most trainable. I've never had one. I could be wrong. Uh huh. But I'm I'm putting it in D also for dachshund. <laughs> for that that hot dog. All right. I feel like we got a good distribution of dogs, Victor. Yeah, I'm 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 actually kind of surprised we haven't gone lower than D though. Oh, we might. Oh, all right. We might with this next. Well, okay. Let's do some. Let's do some normal dogs, and then we'll get. Uh-huh. Into it. <laughs> all right. Throw them at me. Um, this one's a personal favorite of mine. The Dalmatian. <gasps> Ooh, I've always wanted a Dalmatian. Could never get one. The loyal firefighter dog. Mm-hmm. So what? What do you say about this dog, Jolyn? Uh, one of the only dogs that was bred for war. What? What? Really? Yeah. That is such a bomb to drop. Holy crap. What? The Romans bred Dalmatians in order to help them fight on the battlefields. Whoa. What, would it like fetch ammunition and shit or what? Like Victor, the Romans. Oh, the, oh sorry. My bad. Yeah. They would go and fight people. <laughs> I was thinking attack. like World War One or World War no. II. <laughs> but that's crazy. I did not know and that. They're one of the few dogs that have like an affinity to with horses. Like they don't mind horses. They're super chill around them. Yeah. Oh, not bad. I did not know this. Wow. True. I, I could be dogs. wrong though. You need to fact check me on that. But I would put them in B. Yeah. I don't disagree. That I have no experience with them, but I I all I know about them is that they're loyal and, and well trained. Alright. Um I feel like people might get mad if we don't add these last two dogs uh-huh. on the list. So uh-huh. the Rottweiler. Oh, the Rottweiler. Ah, that's that's tough. Ooh, that's really hard. Ah, fuck, I don't know. Because I feel like society has a very negative view on the Rottweiler. Mm-hmm. And but but my personal experience is that they're fucking sweet as hell. Like they're they're good with kids in mind. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Rottweilers, from what I've gathered from what people uh-huh. have them and the ones that I met, they're just big goofballs. Yeah, and I love them for that. And there's a um, cosplayer that I follow on Instagram. I think her name, her, she used to be uh, the Berry Best. Uh-huh. She recently changed her name to, like, Charmelea or something. I don't remember. The but Berry she owned Best. The Rottweiler, and it's so adorable. <laughs> I would put them in A. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. I, I, I agree. Rottweilers are A category. Yeah, I, just, I think they just get a bad rep. I love Rob Wonders. And then last dog. We we have more, but I wanted to get to these. Okay. I don't know how long we've been recording for. Uh, I want to say maybe like 30, at most 40 minutes. All right. The last ones, the Labrador. The Labrador. <gasps> oh, my God. I fucking love these dogs. Oh, dude. They're like, oh, they're, 
every time I, especially that you see that fucking blonde one in the center. Yeah. Every time I see a dog like that, I just want to grab its squishy face and be really? like, because most people like love their chocolate labs. Really? Yeah, chocolate labs are like the most beloved labs in all of these in the golden and black labs. Uh huh. People like the people will be like, yeah, I had like a bunch of labs, but my God, I never forget uh, my, my chocolate. I don't know, lab. Diana, the chocolate lab. <laughs> that's that's strange because every time I run into someone having one, they have the blonde one in the center. I mean, I think they're the most common. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. But it yeah. might be just harder to get a chocolate lab since everyone wants it. Yeah. But now, where would you put these dogs, Victor? No, no. Okay. Before I categorize it, tell me if I'm right. I don't know if you if, if you know this or not. Are they dumb? Mm, no, they're like normal dogs. Okay, because for some reason, every time I've had an experience with these dogs, they are just goofy as all hell. They're like they they're just like, oh, aren't you so dumb? Look at you, I love you. That sort of yeah. Story. They're like they're like little. I don't know. They're little goofballs to you. <laughs> um, okay, personally, I'd put them in A or B. Oh, I see. What would you say? I would put them in B. B? Yeah. Honestly, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I, I retract it. I think with B, just because I saw the Dalmatian, and I don't think they're better than the Dalmatian. Uh-huh. So, yeah, B's good. All right, is there a dog, Victor, that didn't make your list? Uh, that didn't make a list. That like did, your what was your S breed? My S breed. Oh, I actually didn't think of that. Uh, you actually, I do. I really do. Which one is it? Um, it's gotta be. I I kind of already said it. I, I want to say the pit bull is my S breed. But I already put him up there. Which one? This one, the pit bull. That's not the. This is the American Pitbull Terrier. This is the American Staffordshire Terrier. Oh, but he looks so different from the Pitbulls I've always encountered. This is the Pitbull that you, like, mainly encounter. That's what I'm saying. Like, even right here in the ghetto and stuff that people have, like, in chain, like, collars and stuff. That's the one? Yeah. He looks so different, though. It's just most people, like, crop their ears, and they're all pointy. Oh. Oh, then, okay, then, yeah. Now we're getting into the kind of goofy ones oh okay i'm, I'm maybe, excited maybe for these some 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 bad dogs oh from but bad. started off one of the most iconic dogs wait wait hold on oh my god oh these are the curveballs you were telling me about mm-hmm ah okay hold on before we rate pluto is your s ranked dog up oh wait you know what? I think I used my S on the... No, we both agreed on the Poodle. Yeah, you used your S rank on the, the Pitbull. Yeah. So did we have both the same S rank dog? I mean, you you can still use an S. No, 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 I know. But like, you know, when you were asking me, like, is there a dog up here that's that, that you, you know, we haven't mentioned, but that you think is like an S rank? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is your S rank dog already up there? Like, do you consider the Pitbull your S rank dog? Uh, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Or is there another dog that you haven't posted up that you were like? No, no, no. I mean, I would have, I would have used yeah. my S on either like the poodle or the or the Australian cattle dog. Yeah, but I think the I think the pit bull is more deserving of an S. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Then back to Pluto. All right, Pluto, Mickey's uh mm-hmm. dog. Mickey's, just, yeah, a fucking. I can't say best friend because he's barely in any cartoon, but his dog. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, D for me. I know. I was like, there's nothing special about Pluto. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the first animated dogs, though. He is. He is, and he's he's been with Mickey for the longest time. But I I don't like Pluto. I don't see it. Like I'm. I'm if I see him walking around Disneyland, I'm like, I'm not like, oh, look, it's Pluto. Nah. All I'm right. And now maybe one of the newest dogs on this list. Oh, Brian Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's got to be S tier for me, man. Like I almost cried when he fucking died, but then they brought him back and I was <laughs> like, thank God. <laughs> nah, just um, 
Fuck, I don't know, man. What What do you say? What do you say, John? I put Brian an F. Like he's not even a dog. Do- he is a dog, though. He, like bear. Okay, E, because he has like dog tendencies. But like, you know, he's drinking a mart. Well, he's not drinking a martini. He has like a little champagne glass. But he is an alcoholic. <laughs> he's an alcoholic, and he does have sex with women, and that's something that dogs should not do. That is that. I think it's weirder for the women that like the bestiality rather than True. you know. Well, where, where would you put Brian there? Griffin? Um, yeah, I would. I would go E or F, but I would go more for E just because F. It's like he's iconic, and on that alone, I wouldn't put him on F just because everybody right. knows or has heard of him. All right, maybe uh, another iconic dog, Shannon's little helper. Oh my god. He's been around for years. Not um, as long as Pluto, but well, longer than Brian, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um he's that's tough. Um I would say maybe C or D. C just because you he's actually had like like sentience in some episodes. Like you can see he's he's incredibly smart and willing to have conversations and stuff, but like He's just a background dog, so they never really dive deep into that. I would give him a C. A C? Yeah. Okay. Because even though he doesn't like shine or do much as a dog, like you can tell that he's in, he he fills the role of the dog in the Simpsons family because there's a lot of episodes where Bart is fueled to save Santa's little helper. Yeah, exactly. So they clearly care about him. Even Homer cares about him. And that's a good that's a sign of a good dog. That's true. And he's like he he fills that role so well that that's why they barely bring him on in, in any of the episodes. All right. He's just, now, he's just a dog. Yeah, true. Yeah. All right. Next one. Yeah. Courage. Oh my god, you had to bring this sea man up in here. Jesus Christ, look at him. Oh god. S for me. S S tier. S tier, God, like the show. The are you gonna the use your S tier or try to convince me he's S? Um, all right. Well, getting back on topic, uh, you were gonna tell me what you think of Courage the Cowardly Dog before I gave my opinion. I think Courage is like Courage is like an A dog. He's very devoted. You know, he loves Muriel. He's never really snapped at Eustace. Uh huh. So I think he's an A. See, but I think, I think those traits are why he should be an S, because he every single episode he's facing off a new villain to protect Muriel, and he's willing to do anything and everything to to save her, which is why his famous line is "the things I do for love." Okay, and, you know, I I personally think he's S rank right there. All right, we'll put we'll put him in S. Yeah, cool. These these are good curveballs. I wasn't expecting the cartoon dogs. All right now, Victor. Nice. Uh huh. The big Kahuna. <gasps> oh, who could it be? The the you you know him. You love him. I don't know his name. The dog from uh, uh Odie. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> God. Um. I would put him in F. Really. Yeah, uh, just just for my personal opinion, because I remember I've never really the Garfield comics I read never had Odie in them. And the ones I do remember having him, he was like just dumb dog. And he wasn't even like a basic friendly, you know, Mad's best friend dog. He was just dumb. Like, yeah, I'll give you that. <clears throat> I'll agree with you. He's not the best dog. Yeah, he's cute, but he's not the best. Like, at least Brian had more character to him than Odie himself, is what I'm saying. All right. Now. Yeah. Snoopy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn, you're throwing the real hardballs here, man. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I think Snoopy's like a bee dog. A bee dog? Yeah. 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 I or wanna, or the, maybe, maybe C. Because, I mean, he doesn't do much. Like he does, he does go on his own little escapades and stuff. Yeah, is is he better than Santa's little helper though? I think so. 
Yeah. Yeah. Because because he is loyal and he does like like you said he does go on his own adventures, <laughs> and you know he's he's always there for Charlie Brown when he really needs him. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. How many more curveball dogs do I have? Ooh, uh, I this is the last one. <gasps> oh, okay. What could you want to take a guess? Uh, uh it, is it a famous cartoon? Yeah. Well, really? Yeah. Uh, uh well, actually, it... you know, I have, I have, uh, two more. Okay. Two more. Give me, give me a hint to try and guess the next dog, though. It's one of the most famous dogs out there. Oh God! But it like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, uh, uh, Disney, Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network. Mm-hmm. He's a dog. Yeah. It, uh, Jake from Adventure Time. No. It, it, am I am I thinking too early? Like, is it is it an older dog? He's an older dog. Ooh, that's hard. I I don't know. All right, I'll just show you. I guess. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, he's way older. My goodness. I mean, he's Hanna Barbera. Yeah, but technically, but... Hanna Barbera is Cartoon Network. Yeah, but and he technically is new just because he's like his series is still up and running. Like, if anything, he's he's like more influential for me than any other cartoon dog that you've shown. Well, except for Courage. True. Wow. So, so where would you? Where would you put him? I would put him in B or A. B or A? Yeah, just because he's he's funny, he's loyal, he's the best friend of Shaggy, and he's also always fighting. Even though he's scared, he's always facing his fears and fighting the villains of the ghosts and goblins and stuff. All right. Just, so uh... B or A. All right, I would actually, um, I would put Scoob at a B. A B? Yeah. Yeah, that that sounds good. All right. Um, this is a uh, second to last. Uh huh. Clifford. <laughs> Clifford, the big red dog. He is a big red dog. Uh you, you tell me what you think, Jolin. Um, where I would put Clifford, uh, I don't know. I mean, he was a pretty good friend to the other dogs and to Emily. Uh huh. I think that was a little girl's name. Yeah, it is. Um, he pretty nice. He teaches you lessons. True. Uh, but oof, the the aspects that the show doesn't tell you is what happened. Like. Just because he's a monster-sized dog, does he take monster-sized poops? <laughs> yeah. And do you have to take him on monster-sized walks? Oh god, and he's like, a lot dro- of responsibility that comes with owning like. And then there's a the whole argument: is Clifford a kaiju? Because <laughs> he is technically like just a a freakishly huge dog. Exactly, and that's the definition of what a kaiju is. Mm-hmm. He, he is monstrous. So just because of all that, you know, the good outweigh the bad, I would put Clifford in C. Okay. C for Clifford. Um, hmm. Do you agree? Do you not agree? I would, I would actually put Clifford in like the D category. Really? Yeah. Why just cause, just cause I like, well, for me, I, I never really liked Clifford. Because mm. he was just like, I don't know why. Like, I honestly can't, like, put it into words properly. Um, but I I used to watch his show all the time. And I, I agree with what you said with, like, he was just super kind and he taught you stuff. But it's just, he never sat right with me. Like, something was up with Clifford. Like, you yeah. All right, <laughs> I'll give you that. We'll, we'll put him in D. Okay, cool. All right, so I think... Where's where is Cl- it? Clifford was a oh, yeah. Nazi. <laughs> so this is the second to last dog. Okay. I think I said that for Clifford, but this is actually the second to last dog. I think you said that like three times already. <laughs> Slinky dog. Slinky. <laughs> oh god. Um <laughs> Slinky's tough just because 
like I have good memories of him, but he wasn't he didn't, you know, appear much in Toy Story. He did he appeared a lot in like Toy Story One. Well, yeah, but he was like a kiss kiss ass in Toy Story One. Alright. And in Toy Story Two he like developed his character to like the point where he helped Buzz to go get Woody and they went on that that adventure. Uh and he was funny, I will give him that. Um I I'd put him in the C category. Yeah, I was feeling C as well. Yeah? Alright, cool. Yeah. Alright, Victor, this last dog. Last dog. The the creme de la creme. <gasps> the top of the might have to take a pause because i hear my mom coming (laughs) all right all right okay victor yes i'm ready this last dog Uh uh-huh possibly the best dog (gasps) oh the best it's a real it's a real tear jerking story no it is the story of hachiko oh he is the best dog Oh, uh, what you got it? Oh man, he's so sad. I know. Do you want to tell people the story if they don't know who Hachiko is? Yeah. Okay. So, so in case you guys have never heard of Hachiko, it's a Japanese story, right? Am I right about that? Right. I mean, it? it's a story, but it happened in real life. Well, it, yeah, like it. The story happened in Japan, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so in Japan, uh, where Hachiko was, like his owner and him would constantly be together at all times and they would like you know go everywhere together and they like he trained hachiko to wait for him at the train like whenever he would like leave and come back from work and or at least even if he didn't train him hachiko you know loved his owner so much that he did it himself point is once uh, his owner suffered an accident that you know caused him to pass away hachiko stayed where he would normally wait for his owner day in and day out. Kind of like if anyone out there is a Futurama fan and has seen the 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 prehistoric bark episode where the dog waits for Fry after he gets frozen. It's kind of like that. Um, um, so Hachiko waited, but, you know, his owner never came because he, he, he was deceased. And because of that, Hachiko waited his entire lifetime n- never seeing his owner again but because he waited in the same spot every day everybody got to know him they they would pass by greet hachiko uh, you know give him food make sure he was okay and sun you know rainy day sunny day snow whatever it was he was always there waiting for his owner he was such a loyal dog to the point where to the point where once hachiko passed away from old age they erected a statue in his honor wherever he would like wait for his owner I think it was said that he didn't pass away from old age. He passed away because, like, people were giving him, like, takoyaki skewers. Oh, really? And the, and pieces of the skewer, like, would were found in his stomach. Oh, that's messed up. That makes it even worse. I mean, they didn't do it on purpose. Like, yeah, eat this. Like, he probably just chewed through the skewer without knowing that there was, like, a piece of it inside. True. But, I mean, worse, worse in the sense, like, um... That you know, it's it's a nicer story if he passed away from old age, in a sense. Oh, okay. You know, um, yeah, but but still, it's very sad. Poor yeah. Hachiko. And I mean, Hachiko, the his owner's neighbor would still like check up on. Oh well, well I mean, I was gonna put him in S. I don't know how well you felt. No, yeah, definitely S. Are you kidding me? Hachiko's like, the best boy. Hell yeah, he's awesome. My good. But his the neighbor actually like. I think is the one who told everyone, like, no, that's the the professor's dog, like the one that died. Yeah, and, and then everyone knew, like, oh, okay, like he's he's waiting for him to come back. Yeah. So oh, the neighbor man. would like check up on him because I think Hachiko knew his neighbor. Yeah. Uh-huh. She would bring him like food and water and stuff, and then people started like giving him food and stuff. Yeah, because he would be statues. waiting. Yeah. There's like. There's one statue at the university that I think the professor taught at, or uh-huh. it's like at the University of Tokyo or something. Mm-hmm. And then another statue is at the train station where Hachiko actually waited. Yeah, I, I know that statue. But yeah, Hachiko, he's your best boy. I don't know if he was a Shiba or an Akita. I think he was an Akita. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, actually. I, I, he's I, too big. Yeah, I, I mix them both up, so I'm not sure either. But that's a great story. Like you guys, if you guys are interested in it, go definitely go search it up. It's a sad one, but worth worth knowing. 
definitely. Oh, he was an Akita. Oh, he was? Yeah, he was an Akita. Ah, uh, so he's a, he's a good boy. He's a good Akita. I think Hachiko is like the only dog that we have on the list. Of what? Like, the... like we didn't put Greyhounds or... Oh, we also have da- uh, Dachshunds, which is what Slinky is. Yeah. Snoopy is some kind of terrier, I think. Then, <clears throat> what what type of dog is uh, Scooby? Scooby is a Great Dane. Oh, there you go. Okay. Pluto, I don't know what he is. I think Brian and Scooby are the same dog. Uh huh. And I don't know what Obi is. Yeah, no, I don't know either. Uh, I don't know what Courage is either. I think he's like a Chihuahua. I think I was gonna say Terrier, but yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, but yeah, that's our list. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> we did it, Joey. We we managed to all the dogs. We managed to properly rate these beautiful dogs and all these good, good girls and good boys. Yeah. Except for uh, Brian and Obi, they suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they suck at being dogs. Brian is pretty good at being like a comedic relief. Yeah, Brian. Brian is more human than dog. That's why he's so low. Yeah. But uh, let us know if you agree with our list. If you disagree, what dogs? Uh, should be on here. There were more, but we kind of cut back to add these cartoon dogs. Yeah. Tell us, tell us your favorite dog, like your S rank dog. We would love to know. Also, check out that podcast that we did before, where we rated different coffee companies. If you like our style of uh, creating tier lists, maybe we'll make some more in the future. Yeah, and we we would love to hear uh, what what you want us to rate for future tier lists. Exactly. And uh, with that, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. (laughs) Stay beautiful.